Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome to you all in Fahad's tutorial and this video uh, this is actually the first tutorial of uh, one of the most beautiful part of physics and this is light and this class is about nature of light and as well as some part of will be discussed the reflections so as it is a part of or the chapter of SSC physics level and you must know that in SSC level there are two topics that has been discussed that is reflection of light and refraction of light but when you go to the higher level physics and then you see uh, that what are the diversified part of it so I hope that those who are watching this tutorial you must think one thing that when uh, you will start to study about light think carefully because it's one of the beautiful part of physics so what we should know in this beautiful chapter this is the nature of light but you know that still this nature of light is another chapter where a lot of things should be discussed number two is we need to know that law of reflections we need to know about mirror and we'll know that there is a two type of mirror that is plane mirror and spherical mirror we need to know about how image is forming in these type of mirrors then we need to know that what are the uses of a mirror and last of all is magnification and there are some beautiful mathematics also in this chapter that we need to know how to solve it as because this is all about object and image so it's going to be a super duper uh, interesting class so in this first video that I, I was thinking to upload uh, first part of it that is what is nature of light and what is the introduction of the reflection of light primarily so if I ask you that what is the definition of light you might answer that light is a form of energy that will create the sensation of a vision so how we see this light so we know that light is a mechanical wave or the electromagnetic wave if this is the questions the answer is definitely light is electromagnetic wave as because it has i mean no medium is required for traverse the light wave because it can traverse without any medium that is why light is known as electromagnetic wave so how we see this light i mean you know that if this is the human eye suppose this is the human eye and you know that there is a lens and in the last part of our eyeballs you know there is a layer which is called retina so when light comes from an object from an object then then I can say that the reverse image is formed in our retina so though, though it's not a very perfect I'm just giving you an idea that when light from any object is coming through our eyes and is forming in sensations that is formed in our retina then we can see the things so when we just close and we just light off in our room we can't see anything because from nowhere light is coming to our eyes so our eyes is not creating any light so the sensation of seeing anything depends that if lights falling there and then the reflect come to our eyes then our retina is forming the image and then we can see the object so is there anything about wavelength if this is the question yes definitely so what are the things like what is wavelength think about it as because we are saying that light is a wave so as it is a wave so it has definitely a wavelength the wavelength is that the consecutive to crest is the wavelength we know it and what is the wavelength that we can see usually if we just follow the spectrum the spectrum suppose this is uh, this is one nanometer and this is one thousand nanometer 
if you say this is 0 0.01 nanometer and you say this is 0 0.001 nanometer so this is the lowest one and if I say this is 0 0.1 centimeter I say this is 1 centimeter and this can be like 1 meter so you see the ranges of the wavelength and you must know one thing that 1 nanometer is equivalent to 10 to the power minus 9 meter so the wavelength wavelength of light can be the trillion part of one meter or even a larger than a few kilometer so can we see all the wavelengths no the range that we can see that is a limited range of wavelength and that is in between these two part that is this is one nanometer and one thousand nanometer so in between this one nanometer and one thousand nanometer if we say that just this teeny portions in this between one and thousand nanometer then we will find that there is actually a spectrum that there is that tiny part of these between this wavelength we only can see and this is actually our visual light spectrum so if I say that the last part then we can say one two three four five six and seven we can say this is vive gear what does it mean actually so the last part we are saying that we can see that is 400 nanometer and this is actually 700 nanometer we only can see up the slide where wavelength is between this range so 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer so the minimum wavelength that we can actually see that is nearly violet and when the wavelength is increasing then we see indigo then we see blue then we see green and then yellow and orange and then red when it crosses 700 nanometer like 800 900 nanometer then we actually can't see this light as because uh, when we say it then it becomes like we cannot see and even here we also can't see so when it crosses 700 nanometer we can say it this is infrared infrared or even if you go farther then we'll have a, a infrared then a microwave microwave and if you go further more we'll have radio wave radio wave if you go this this way that we are going like a smaller ways then we'll find x-ray over here or even go farther more smaller i mean 0 0.001 nanometer we will have gamma ray so neither we can see this this wavelength either we can see these wavelengths also we can only see this range the smaller range which is between 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer so when the wavelength of light is 400 nanometer then that the, we can see that this is violet it's so violet we are, we are seeing violet and then it crosses 700 nanometer we see it's infrared and then after when it's become more red then it sometimes at some points it disappears and we can say that this is infrared so the infrared wave microwave even radio wave we cannot see it because it's huge you see the wavelength is nearly one meter but we can see only 400 nanometer that means 400 nanometer means four times 10 to the power minus seven because 400 times 10 to the power minus 9 is equal to this even we can say 7 times 10 to the power minus 7 meter so this is the wavelength that we can see and this is our visual spectrum so this is 5 gear so we must know this this is our visual light spectrum that we can see it so violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red okay so if you go further more, you'll have radio wave and microwave and then after my, I mean before infrared. And in this way, you'll have X-ray and gamma. 
So this is a very simple idea. It's a primary level idea. What are the visual spectrums that we can see? So, we, so I hope you, this is clear. So in case of nature of light, I can say something that, well, the major properties of light. I'm just reading it from my books that light travels in a straight way through a transparent homogeneous medium. So this is the characteristics of light. So we can say that light travels in a straight way, this is very important, through a transparent homogeneous medium. Second, light travels with a definite velocity in a definite medium. That means in vacuum, we know that the velocity of light, that light can travel 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So this is the huge, this is actually huge speed. Light can travel three, uh, 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So this is definite. So we can say the second major properties of light is light travels with a definite velocity in a definite medium. Third, there are some other properties like reflection, refraction, interference, diffraction, dispersion, and polarizations of light take place. So there are some other, I mean this is actually the different type of characteristics of light that will be discussed in the next level. So the fourth property is light is a form of energy. Fifth, light is a kind of electromagnetic wave. And number six is light behaves as wave in some cases and also as a particle in some incident. So light can behave as a wave and also can behave like a particles. So these are the major properties that I'm just reading watching my books and uh, I hope those are hearing it so you know what is the properties of light now think about now think about the reflections what if I say the questions that that one thing I must say is that if it is x-ray the after that I mean before the visual uh, wavelength this is actually ultraviolet ultra ultra violet which is also we can see so just just before 400 to 1 nanometer so what is going on if if i mean the light travels from one media and then it falls down in another media then how many phenomenon is going to take place suppose one thing this is a surface okay so light is coming in this way so if light is traveling from one transparent medium and then falling down another medium that three phenomenon will take place and that is that is the light can go back to the previous medium okay light can directly come and then it can be observed I and mean absorbed and also light can come away in this way or this way so these three things can happen so the first thing that is happening that is actually the reflection we can say it reflection and this is the main focus of this chapter so when light is traveling from a specific medium, homogeneous medium, and then fall down into another medium, into the surface of the medium between this both medium, if I, if I say this is air and this is water, so there are two different media, okay? So both are transparent, light can travel in both way, and this is the surface in between this water and air. So what can happen if light is traveling and then falling down to the water, three phenomena will take place. Number one is reflections. Number two, that is, can happen in both cases that it can, it, can, it can diverse from its own way. That is called refraction. So this is known as refraction. And some portions of light may be absorbed by the second medium and that is known as third phenomenon it's called absorption so 
simply we can say that when light falls in different medium then three phenomenon can happen that is reflection refraction and absorption and in this video and next reflections chapters we will only talk about reflections okay so three phenomena will occur so now if i say if i just only focus the reflection what should be uh, discussed issues and what we need to think about it now come to the point what is reflection of light so if uh, i can take another hair from my scale suppose this is uh, Okay, this is the surface of different medium and one light is falling from this way. And what will happen if I say this is a reflector and if we say this is actually a mirror, then we need to draw a normal. That normal actually the perpendicular line to the point and then we must know that there will be a reflectant. So, what's going on here? As I said that I'm only discussing about the reflection of light. Now you see that light is falling down. One ray is falling down. Okay? This light is known as incident, incident ray. And this is known as reflected ray reflectant ray and the perpendicular of this point is known as normal normal so what's going on here when light is incidenting I mean incident rays falling down in the surface and then it's going back to the previous medium this phenomenon is known as reflection of light and this is incident ray and this is the reflected ray now the angle in between these two is known as incident angle that is I and here it's known as reflect angle or R this is incident angle and this is reflect angle so now what is the law of reflection so now we need to say that law of reflection is actually two, two laws, number one, number two. What are these? That is, if I say this is O, this is A, this is N, and this is B, we can say that AO is an incident ray, OB is a reflectant ray, ON is the normal, which is the perpendicular to the surface of the medium. And this O is the incident point. Well, now we can say that the reflected ray, the normal, and the incident ray all are in the same plane. Same plane. So we can say that they're forming and they're, this phenomenon is occurring in the same plane that is the number one rose. Number two is, in case of reflection, always the incident angle, that is I, this is angle, is always equal to the reflectant angle. So, angle I is always equal to angle R. And we say that OA, ON and OB will be in the same plane. So the first rules OA, OB and ON would be in the same plane so that means in the same way or in the same dimension we can say in the same dimension actually that would be more easier so so it would be like in the same dimension then we can say yes when in a this way I mean which dimensions AO from the incident ray is falling down in the same directions it will be reflected and in the same directions the same a plane this normal would be drawn. So that is the two laws of reflection. And simply if I say that what are the types of reflections, then you also can say the types of reflections are two types. Well, we can say that types 
types of reflection the types of reflections is if we say this is the plane mirror and this is something rough so if you say that all the incident ray after falling it maintaining the parallel beam or divergent or convergent parallelly then it's become uniform reflection or regular reflection so we can say this is regular reflections and if the parallel beam is falling down but after it becomes like scattered and following no parallel or divergent or convergent rays this is called diffused reflection diffused reflection or irregular reflection so in this tutorial i'm just explaining the basic or the primary level discussions of the reflection of light so this is regular very simple regular or uniform reflection and this is diffused or irregular reflections so in this tutorial i was only focusing on the primary explanation of reflection of light so in the first part i explained about the spectrum and the wavelengths of the vision slide and then i explain that what are the definitions of reflections what are the three phenomena is occurring when light is falling down into another medium what is the laws of reflections and what are the types of reflections so in case of laws there are two laws in case of types there are two types regular or uniform reflections irregular or diffused reflections so this picture is also is drawn in your book you can say it. and then i'll be discussing about mirror image formations magnifications and mathematical formula that should be used in this chapter so i hope you understand in this entire videos i was actually focusing on the primary level after watching this tutorial do let me know that what is your feeling and did you really understand what i explained and of course after the recommendations i shall adjust it in my next level tutorial so take care see you